And joining me now from Sky, via Skype from Washington, D.C., for more on the 9-11 Remembrance is a global affairs analyst, Calvin Dark. Good to have you on the news at this time. So, yes, 20 years after, what would you say has remained the or is the defining moment since the 9-11 attacks in the United States? Well, I think that it definitely defined um, us as Americans. It definitely defined our foreign policy and what our priorities uh, were and are, particularly after the withdrawal from Afghanistan. And, you know, I think there's been a lot of reflection today and this week about how we have changed as Americans. We're, you know, it's not to say that we weren't divided in some ways then and particularly afterwards, but we live in a different country now so maybe this will give us kind of hope to get back to um uh, a little bit more unification around the issues that are of importance to us no matter we're democrat republican independent or whatever and talking about the United States withdrawal from the Afghanistan, only weeks ago, the United States and Allied forces completed what we term a chaotic withdrawal from the war the United States started in Afghanistan shortly after the attacks in retaliation of the 9-11 attacks. How do you feel about this, even though there has been some reactions regarding this, knowing that this is what brought about the 9-11 attacks? How do you feel about what's going on in the United States at the present? Well, I think the two things to keep in mind are that we need to look at what are the short-term effects and, and reactions and the long-term. For the short-term, I don't think there's anyone that can dispute that this withdrawal has been chaotic and definitely did not go as people planned. But in the long-term, I also think those very same people, myself included, um, supported a withdrawal from Afghanistan. And so I think we have to look at a lot of the opposition that we're seeing today in the debate, which is definitely needed because it was chaotic. Um, we need to see it in context. I think that once we have um, uh, gotten through some of those issues of chaos, we'll realize that what President Biden actually did, that his predecessors couldn't, was what the American people wanted. We wanted to withdraw from America's longest war, particularly because not many Americans, myself included, really understood what we were supposed to accomplish there. And so how positive are you now with this remembrance that this will perhaps heal the wounds of the past for those who have lost lives in the 9-11 attacks? For the victims, families, um, for the, the victims who are, you know, those who are hurt, uh, who are still living, you know, time is a tricky thing. You know, it's, it's not as simple as time makes everything better. I think time, you know, it helps people deal with things. I've heard so many um, survivors' families talk, survivors and their families of the victims, talk about how on some days it seems like it was yesterday and on other days it seems like it was a lifetime ago. So I think for them that process will continue far beyond today. For our country, um, I think that it will help us, I hope that it will help us think a little bit more about what we do abroad and what our foreign policy um, priorities are. And that's a fine place to live at Calvin Dark, Global Affairs Analyst. We appreciate your insights on the news at this time. Thank you.